At the beginning of the 20th century, the German, Count von Zeppelin, showed what was possible with this new form of transport. It wasn't long before the British and Americans were following his lead. 30 years before the arrival of transatlantic civilian passenger planes, airships dominated long-distance travel. Airships, those impressive vessels that once ascended above the clouds, stood among the most promising modes of transportation in the early 20th century. They soared the skies for a variety of purposes including advertising, military operations, passenger travel, cargo transportation, and scientific endeavors. Yet, despite their undeniable allure, airships have failed to maintain their former glory and have become a rarity in modern transportation. Join us on a journey through history as we uncover the reasons behind their decline and explore both their current and future developments. In total, there are three different types of airships, rigids, semi-rigids, and non-rigids. These terms refer to the framework surrounding the craft's gas chambers. The history of airships dates to 1852 when Henri Gifford of France constructed the first successful craft. Looking at the innovation S-curve, we would consider this beginning as the fermenting period since this concept is relatively new to the market. Following Gifford's invention, many additional routine innovations began to occur as others experimented with the creation of airships. Referring to the innovation S-curve, this would be considered the takeoff phase because a dominant design was created with an industry standard of a long gas-filled balloon and a carrier on the bottom. The most successful operator of airships came in 1900 from Germany. His name was Ferdinand, Count von Zeppelin. He created a craft called the LZ-1. During World War I, these airships gained in popularity due to their stealth capabilities for bombing and spotting submarines, as well as their ability to fly for longer durations at higher altitudes than airplanes. The height of airship popularity continued into 1936 with the inauguration of a routine passenger service using a revolutionary airship called the Hindenburg. Referencing the innovation S-curve, this period would be the maturity phase since the airships have reached maximum popularity and the airship competitors were competing on brand recognition and prices. However, the major success of the Hindenburg was short-lived. On May 6, 1937, while landing at its routine stop in Lakehurst, New Jersey, the hydrogen-filled craft burst into flames and was destroyed. This was one of the major transportation incidents of its time and led to the fall of airship transportation. Following the widely publicized and memorable Hindenburg disaster, many people feared the German-invented airships and questioned their safety for travel. Additionally, the high cost, low speed, and increased storm vulnerability operating these large airships made it difficult to compete with new advancements in airplane machinery. Looking back at the innovation S-curve, this time is referred to as the discontinuity period because of the decrease in airship popularity and the rise of an airplane substitute. The final nail in the coffin for airships was during World War II when the Zeppelin manufacturing plant was destroyed by bombing and the manufacturing never resumed because there was very little interest in continued production. Up until today, airships were pretty much forgotten. There were still a few remaining, but they were only used for marketing gimmicks and not as an alternative mode of transportation. However, increased market interest in environmental sustainability and concern over higher fuel costs has sparked a new interest in bringing back airship technology through retrovation. The term retrovation refers to taking forgotten innovations from the past and using them to solve modern problems. Referring back to airships, this retrovation is considered disruptive innovation because it requires a new business model but does not involve a breakthrough in technology. In the future, there are many potential benefits from airships. One notable figure is Sergey Brin, the co-founder of Google and the founder of LFA. They are set to finish a 400-foot-long airship shortly and are in the process of creating an even larger 600-foot ship dubbed the Pathfinder 3 in 2023. 
Other companies would include Flying Wales, which was launched to meet the requirements for transporting the trees from France's logging industry. They also see other applications for airships, most notably the gap that is present between helicopters and airplanes. The break is most present for industries which require roads and large infrastructure to meet their needs, but are too far away for infrastructure projects to make economic sense. This concept is most notable in mining companies. Currently, transportation of large infrastructure pieces like wind turbine blades and power line towers are primarily transported by helicopter into remote areas and pieces. However, airships have the potential for unlimited cargo volume, which would be able to lift, for example, intact towers over a much farther distance. Another potential use for airships is food transportation from South America to Canada. This would allow fruits and vegetables to be shipped quickly and use less fuel. An important area that needs to be addressed in Canada is the lack of infrastructure in northern communities. Currently, most goods come in over a four to five month period on ice roads during the winter. Airships would be very beneficial for remote areas since they can carry large amounts of goods without the need for extensive land infrastructure. Another potential market for airships is luxury travel, where people can go to areas that are difficult to travel by land. Additionally, Airships would be a form of substitution for cruise ships by allowing a transportation method with views from the sky. A final potential use for airships is military use. Countries could implement airships as moving command centers. They may also be used for the deployment of ground bases and transporting material farther than military helicopters, which makes the military more versatile. With a nod to the past and an eye on the future, the potential for airships provides an alluring appeal in our ever-changing world.